This is part two of editing the slideshow or part three. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a new sequence real quick. Just again, to go through the, to get the right frame size. Remember, if I do a new, a new sequence of the new timeline, and I'm going to go under ABC HD, and I want to find a 1080p, 30 frames a second timeline. Okay. Remember, if you drop a picture out into a new timeline and say yes to change to it, it will give you the attributes or the size of that picture, and you don't really want that. So let's say you had a super, super high-res picture that was 10,000 pixels across. You're, you don't really want your timeline to be that resolution. So I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to go back to editing. And again, I'm going to do a Ken Burns effect real quick, again, for review. So I'm going to go drop this picture in, and I want to zoom into the group. So if I double click on this, if you come over to this window here and go to effects control, these stopwatches are for turning keyframing on. And a keyframe will, you can do a lot of different things in here. So let's say I just want to pan the group. So if I want to pan the group, I'm going to First of all, I'm going to come over to here and go to 25%. I'm going to see how big the image actually is. So I'm going to grab my Select tool. If I double click, I can see how big the image actually is. So I want to do a nice pan across the group. So I want it to start right here. Okay. And this is my starting point. So I'm going to hit Position. And right here, you see I got a little keyframe. And then I'm going to move over in time and if I change the attribute which if I change the position over here if I click and drag it this is where I want it to end right there on a nice shot of coal okay so notice I got two points I got point A point B and then the computer does the math for you so I have what you call a Ken Burns effect and Ken Burns is one of our famous documentarians, and you know he has an effect named after him, and it's movement on a photograph. Okay, and notice I'm not losing any resolution at all because I'm only scaled at 92.9. You do not want to scale in too far because what happens when you scale in too far? If I take this picture right here, and I'm gonna click on it. I'm going to go to like 800%. Okay. If you look at this, look how pixely it is. You know, the image is still there, but look how blocky and gross it looks. You shouldn't go over 100% unless you can help it. And if you want to reset these, if I go to reset, it'll take it right back to the regular size. Okay. Again, so I'm going to do a Ken Burns effect again. Uh, and again, I'm going to start out. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go to a picture of me. You can't really tell what's happening. And I'm going to go position scale. And that's my first point. Then I'm going to come over to the picture. And I want to see what's going on. So I got my dog in the picture. He's, took him on a walk and he's got his beautiful sweater on I can't believe I took him on a walk with a sweater okay so notice I got two points and I can control these points too I can move them around I want it to move the whole time so I'm gonna move and you'll see the Ken Burns effect and it's a little slow don't you think it's a way slow. So I'm going to come move these points over to make it a faster zoom. Okay? And now it should move a lot faster by me moving those points. Okay? The other thing you want to do with the Ken Burns effect is I'm going to delete this gap. If I put a transition in here, you got to remember a transition adds time to the clip. My keyframes on both of these are right here. 
where the ones should be on this one should be here and this one should be over here so watch I'm gonna double click go to effect control and move this out that way it'll be nice and smooth otherwise it's not smooth it starts moving halfway through then I'm gonna go to this one go to effect control and I'm gonna move these two to the left so now on this nice dissolve with the movement it'll be nice and clean going through instead if I do it the other way watch it'll be kind of jerky on the transition see how it kind of jumped a little bit so that is your Ken Burns transition